Hello and welcome, my Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your timeless soulmate read, though being recorded in January 2021. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lyons. But you can call me Mal. Hi, hope you don't mind the hat. I didn't feel like doing the hair today. <laughs> That's why you can tell when I did these things. <laughs> yeah, it must have been a, 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 a rainy day. It is. It's a little cold outside here in beautiful uh, uh, Holbrook, Long Island. So let's get up in this gig, shall we? This is a, like I said, a timeless soulmate read. Soulmate is a type of soul contract. Different than a twin flame. There are links in the description box for further research into the difference of them. But essentially, the bottom line of the contract is um, you help each other heal, and they are not all sexual and romantic. However, for these readings, we are doing because <clears throat> I do them once a month for the month and timeless. These are the happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying soulmate contracts in process that we've all been working on for lifetimes, right? And now it seems like a lot of uh, these soulmates are ready to come together to not just help each other heal, but through uh, the quantum entanglement of unity, consciousness, help everybody heal. So uh, that being said, uh, it is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We're doing 13 cards. There is an extended on Vimeo.com if you are interested. All the links are below as well as uh, links all the way at the bottom of my description box for all the different uh, divination systems I use. Let's uh, get up in this gig. Put your feet on the floor if you can, because if you can't, you can't right? laying in bed. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't begrudge somebody <laughs> laying in bed and watching uh, readings. I do it all the time, not all the time, but you know what I mean? Uh, but do focus on the breath. You're an air sign. Uh, the more that you can breathe along with me, because I say breathe, <laughs> if you're not new to my channel, you know I do that every single day, breathe, because it brings me into the present moment, connects me with spirit, the same with you. This way it's easier, I feel, when you're in the now, and your mind's not running into the past and the future, you're really able to sense what resonates, not so much mentally, when pe people think mental, oh, if I like it, it resonates. Now, that means how does it feel in your body? Like you hit... Uh, a bell and it resonates right so um yeah just keep your eye on that your heart on that however hard on ooh, your heart on that let's not get flagged for that uh you know what i'm saying can we do this yeah i think we can do that's enough uh, explanation i think we're getting really tired of doing the explanations every single time but uh occupational hazard so let's get down to it. we're going to start with three caroline mace archetype cards one to define party number one which we're calling the divine feminine uh, party number two we're calling the divine masculine has nothing to do with bodily genders but it's a decent way uh in the west at least to do that i would rather say divine yin divine yang but you know that's my Taoist background anyway <clears throat> let's get into this uh one for the divine feminine one for the divine masculine and one for the contract itself uh, that will be the third card down, will be the last card we flip, and we'll be clarifying with Daughters of the Moon Tarot and uh, the Mythic Tarot. Shall we? Please take a nice deep breath. Okay, here we go. My collective pantheons. There you go. Of angels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters, and the higher selves of all involved. And I'll say the ascended masters of soulmate contract law. Please, I need three cards for this Libra collective. Sun, oh, right. By the way, I'm Venus and Libra. <laughs> Venus and Libra, they just reminded me. Uh, uh, one card, uh, one for the divine feminine, one for the divine masculine, <clears throat> and one for the overall contract. What contract? The happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, satisfying sexual soulmate contract. For Libra 2021 or Timeless, please leave one in my hand for the Divine Feminine. Please leave one in my hand for the Divine Masculine. This felt good. This almost put a smile on my face. How dare it? And uh, one, please, for the overall contract, which will be our last card turned. Uh, okay, so just so that you know you're getting 13 in this deck, I think you're getting 13 or like 15 or 16 cards in the extended to clarify. So by the end of this, you'll know if it's yours or not. Just getting this ready. Okay. Virgo. Let's put that over there. Okay. So I uh, remember these cards can be triggery. They are the Caroline Mace archetype cards. It's really not a divination system. It is, uh, oh, interesting. It is a, um, 
healing system, really. Uh, archetypes go back to Jungian psychology, and it means original pattern, I believe, in Greek, or the ancient Greek, or the original Greek, whatever. So these aren't too horrible, not that any archetype is horrible and another is not. Uh, we've got the storyteller and the hermit. Now, the storyteller for the divine feminine can be very, very tricky, and you'll see why in a minute. And uh, the Hermit, although everybody says the Virgo is the Hermit card in the tarot, this is certainly not zodiacally uh, confined, right? This is a, an archetype card, not a tarot card. So let me read you what's on this card. The shadow and the light, the shadow attributes, the stuff you don't want to look at, or the stuff you know about, but you don't want anybody to know. So you kind of, oh, what? What shadow, right? <laughs> that kind of deal. Uh, the shadow attribute, making up tales that harm others, including yourself. Right? Like, that's the thing. Uh, and it's very Eckhart Tolle power of now when we're uncertain, the mind goes into survival mode and starts writing stories and drawing conclusions that are usually not true. It's very much what an inflamed nervous system does <laughs> when it's either burnt out or overloaded, right? Uh, and so the light that is available here, and by the way, the shadow attributes are what you two are helping each other heal, whether you've met or not, right? Whether you know each other or not. Um, so what you're shooting for here, if you uh, identify with the divine feminine here, the light attribute, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols, which is what card readers do. It's really, it's, it's just part of it. So being that I'm Venus and Libra, I can relate to this one, but let's look at the hermit. Uh, and, and, you know, we know about the hermit, the shadow attribute withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment of others or maybe, I don't know, global crises, <laughs> uh, refusing to help those in need. See, I, I have the hermit archetype uh, in there somewhere, um, but this is where it really hits home for me. The light attribute seeks solitude to focus intently on inner life, serves personal creativity. It's why I live alone. <laughs> so all with three cats, right? And the only people who get to cross the drawbridge into my castle had better prove that they're healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just watching my language on that. All right, so the storyteller and the hermit. Um, what's interesting is the storyteller is the creative family, the hermit, the wisdom family. So we might be looking at a wise divine masculine, a very creative uh, divine feminine. Remember, this has nothing to do with gender. I have to always remember to say that. You'll get canceled if you don't, right? So this is not about bodily gender. All of that can switch back and forth. Um, but also know that, like I'm seeing in here, in soulmate contracts, there's often a lot of mirroring. Not that you're exactly alike, but your energy patterns can fluctuate. And they're reminding me, like, if you're in separation from somebody or you haven't met yet, once you get together and you start comparing histories, like where you've been, you go, oh, my God, I did that. Oh, my God, I did that. And that's why you might sometimes see mirroring in the spread itself. Good. All right. I can't help it. I'm a teacher. My mother's a teacher. I inherited the teacher gene. Take a nice deep breath. Hmm. Okay, daughters of the moon. Let's do this. My goddesses of air and the sign of Libra, please. I need five cards and elements spread for the divine feminine with the storyteller archetype in this Libra collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying, soulmate contract, January 2021 or timeless, please show me her element of fire. That's two. I'll take that one. Uh, what it is she burns for and desires in this soulmate contract, her element of earth, what she has to pull it off, right? To fuel the fire, to keep the light bright, her element of air, what she predominantly thinks about this soul mate contract her element of water what no <laughs> no shuffle it again her element of water what it is she predominantly feels in this soulmate contract and the element of spirit the point of view or the voice of the soul that agreed to this contract prior to incarnation now before we dive into those we're just going to do the same for the divine masculine, and then I will flip them over at the same time, fire, then earth, then air, then water. Please breathe. <clears throat> <clears throat> My gods of air and the sign of Libra, please, I need five cards for this divine masculine with the hermit archetype in this happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying soulmate contract, January 2021 or timeless, please. What's his element of fire? 
that's two, just one for that, please. Let's leave it in my hand, element of fire, what he wants, what he yearns for, burns for his element of earth, what he has to help him manifest that, right? The physical, tangible stuff he's got, or maybe the internal uh, where he is. Uh, and please forgive the he and she, I have to keep it straight in my head. Uh, element of air, what is he predominantly thinking? about this contract, element of water, what is he predominantly feeling about this contract, <clears throat> and the power of spirit, element of spirit, the point of view or the voice of the soul that agreed to the contract prior to incarnation. Yeah, incarnate work. Okay, here we go. Element of fire, what do they want? Well, okay. Uh, she wants loyalty. <laughs> Three of flames to wait, just wait for me, or let's wait on this, let's be patient, but she's holding a light, right? She's hold, lighting a candle in the window uh, for, uh, for this to happen. Now, here's the deal, though. Loyalty is a tricky thing, as we've seen in the past. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. A couple of years, maybe? Uh, four. Uh, uh, what we're looking at here is a really, really strong focus on what is my priority. What is it that I'm willing to wait for? What is it that I'm willing to stand for? And what is it that I will not stand for, right? It has a lot to do with honor code, because you really shouldn't wait for something unless that solar plexus is, yeah, this feels good. Even the waiting, it's the hardest part. Thank you, Tom Petty bless your soul. He's got the world. So he wants a completion here. He wants to bring this together. Now that already says to me, these two might know each other. I and mean, it's only that, that really the first two tarot down, that that card of the world is about wholeness and completion and certainly graduation, completing a cycle. Now, whether they have completed a cycle together, that is certainly something that he wants maybe to get over uh, past things here to, I mean, I would say resolution, but you can't get to the world is that the card of judgment, which is the resolution and uh, uh, reconciliation card, right? Uh, but definitely maybe wants to close out a period of his life uh, to then move forward with the storyteller if they are not together. Or to put the past behind them, learn what he needs to learn and move on. What's the element of earth? This will help. You got two, two. She's got the two of pentacles. He's got the two of cups. He love her. You love her. Strong attraction. Strong. I mean, people say, oh, it's the true love card. It's a two. Ten of cups, I'll say, is the true love card. Maybe crossed with the lovers and a couple of others, uh, which is why I use a lot of oracles in the extended read. Uh, and, and But she's got the balance, right? She has got herself in, not M, I am in in space balance right the bow leapers this divine feminine storyteller has the ability to metaphorically run at a bull grab it by the horns and flip over it right so you need extensive balance for that and and how do we create balance in our life same way you get to carnegie hall practice 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 right so this looks good so far no uh, only one major arcana card right and i put it all together at the end don't worry if you missed something i'll call it all out again well, what they're thinking, she's feeling victory. She's thinking victory. Uh, the seven of flames, is, uh, which would be the seven of wands in this deck, usually we think of that as the six in the rider weight, but here it is in the seven. Uh, interesting. I love this card. I mean, not just the vibe of it, but it's three women galloping on horses with flames in their hand, hence... Uh, the the yeah the, very very intense but they're galloping on cooling lava and the lava is flowing in the same direction they're going so there are things under the surface that are moving them in a direction of victory or at least her and that's what she's thinking about right now remember this is a storyteller so she might have this story in her head about i'm gonna i'm gonna be victorious this is gonna work out i don't know how i don't know when but I'm thinking it. Or she's thinking about how can I be victorious? And we've already got two fire cards here. So what she wants and what she thinks are in alignment in that sense, because it does take air to feed fire, don't it? Uh, he's got the Nine of Pentacles. Look, uh, if, if this Divine Feminine is a Virgo, this is the Virgo card. I don't do that Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus stuff. I know these decks. The Mythic Tarot, Julia Charman Burke specifically designed these cards that the court cards are one zodiac sign. Same with Daughters of the Moon, actually. They, she actually writes them on the deck. But if you can see, 
I don't know if you can, uh, in the background, there are beehives, right? And that's why you will hear the hermit is the slowest of the four elemental knights in the court card. Um, just like a beehive isn't built overnight, just like honey isn't made overnight, right? Uh, that he's planning, right? Probably to move towards this. And if this is a Virgo, because remember the hermit card is considered the Virgo card in tarot, then we're really looking at a strong Virgo presence here, really planning and thinking out and taking his time. Uh, not that action isn't there. I mean, that two of cups with the world, it might be that he's really planning. Look, I'm Virgo. <laughs> Just even me making bolognese, which is my favorite thing to make. I'm a potion witch, right? Any soups or stews I'm good at. Uh, and cocktails big time. <laughs> I can make you a cocktail that doesn't taste alcoholic and get you plots. Uh, uh, but, but so planning, right? Like getting things together, getting his life in order. At least that's what he's thinking about. Uh, so I like this. I mean, they're both on horses. <laughs> Interesting. The, the seven of flames and the knight of pentacles, though, appearing to go in the opposite direction. But sometimes you have to go around the world. Uh, to end up around the corner. Yeah, the truth. Okay, what they are feeling. <laughs> the Divine Feminine has the witch, which is the card of the magician. She's feeling the flow. She's doing the bull dance. Feel oh, she's seriously doing the bull dance, feeling the flow. If you don't know that reference, it's okay. Some of you do like if you get that reference. I'm always, they're always feeding me song lyrics and movie references. Uh, he's got the Knight of Cups. So he's in love. I mean, he's got the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. He's feeling to come forward. He's going to follow his intuition for the right timing on this. This is the Pisces card. Now, what's interesting is you've got Virgo and Pisces opposites. Now, I am a Virgo sun and a Pisces moon. So th again, I'm mirroring all over this place. I gave up trying not to see myself in the readings as my guides are like, <clears throat> that's you. <laughs> so I could totally uh, get this for myself either way, and I wouldn't be shocked if you were either. Um, but the vibe, I get this. Um, so they both have one major arcana card each. I'm going to start there. Uh, the world card for him in fire. He wants a completion. He wants to bring this together. I think these two have had a rough road if they know each other. There might have been a previous dance where things did not go well. That's why she's hanging on in terms of loyalty. And he just wants to finish an old cycle so that they can be together, right? Absolutely, he's going to come towards her. Uh, that is the, the right of the divine feminine. But I don't see action here, at least not yet. I definitely see, look, we got, that. <laughs> we got two nights in the air, mental, and in the water, emotional. Uh, oh, sorry, I reversed them, <laughs> but that was the order they came out in. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, a lot of contemplation here, and the twos can often indicate a choice, maybe not a life-changing decision, but a choice, right, um, to act on this or not. But with the predominance of water, granted, just two cards, well, and she's got a predominance of fire, just two cards, uh, it looks like they're both sorting things out individually. But remember, as one heals, the other automatically heals. Now, they're saying clarify, because I don't often clarify that. There's a ton of information about this stuff, about soulmate contracts, but I do recommend uh, you check out the work of Matt Kahn. He's one of the um, links in the description box below. Uh, his video, um, <clears throat> Soul Contracts, Twin Flames and Soulmates Redefined. His new definitions are brilliant and they really click with me and they may not click with everybody but i feel like that's more fifth dimensional unity consciousness oriented than uh the older in some cases ancient definitions oh yeah mal and i did a podcast about that that's in the description box too so uh let's see what the soul has to say here oh how interesting different elements but similar energy the five of cups and the six of swords so they're both involving water, the storm, the stormy sea, and the six of swords moving from calm, uh, turbulent to calm waters. So the voice of the soul here with this five of cups is saying, honey, you got to wait till the storm passes. Now, that's not literal, right? <laughs> obviously. Uh, this might be the emotional storm. It does feel like there's a lot of emotional pressure here on this one and a lot of emotional change. What are the skies like after a good storm, right? Clear as can be, the air is clear. Uh, the, the ground is watered and therefore more fertile, right? Life can spring from this, but also kind of saying, hey, storyteller, really deal with the emotions that are coming up. And again, I say this every time, if you are an empath, and I don't 
mean socially empathic, although that's necessary for every single one of us on planet Earth to consider what it must be like for somebody else. And if this past year didn't do it for you, I don't know what will. Uh, I am talking about the intuitive empathy where you're taking in energy through the lower three chakras and you're feeling it in your cell tissue. You're feeling somebody else's emotions or energy in your body. Keep in mind, you might be picking up on the, if you're the divine feminine, you might be picking up on what's going on here. And that's why if you're really sort of hamstrung, uh, the divine feminine, the storyteller, watch the stories you tell yourself because chances are, if you're like so in love with them, see, you're thinking victory, but in your emotions, there's this alignment, there's this magic, there's this manifestation. You might very well uh, have not just a telepathic collection, but an empathic, did I say collection? Telepathic connection. You might have an empathic one where you're feeling each other. Remember, you know when people say, I'm feeling you, I feel you. Well, that's rather literal with an empath of a Pisces moon. Look, this is an interesting contract. It does not show forward motion and action, but maybe that will show up uh, in the um in the extended. Like I said, the third card down is our last card down. The networker, more like communication. Right now, there needs to be, or the, the, the archetypal story is called the networker. Now, in the shadow, uh, conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood. Now, I'm going to say storyteller, be careful of that. Creative family archetype, creative family archetype, right? So that you, if there is lack of communication, Lord knows I've done it, right? It's like, well, where are they? Why haven't they called back? Oh, they're dead. They're with somebody else. Uh, they moved to Zimbabwe, you know, whatever. And not necessarily true. And that might also be this five of cups saying, hey, you know, calm, <laughs> not going to say that word, calm your self down right it's okay it is okay you have the ability to just stay focused on what you are feeling but channel that feeling alchemize that feeling right the more attention you give to your emotions lovingly witnessing them uh shadow work right however that comes up emotional healing work rebirthing any of that stuff it's going to really help uh, new divine feminine. This divine masculine with these two court cards, though, I don't know that communication is ready to come in on his side, but the light attribute enhances unity through sharing of information. And I sense then that's a real issue, that there is there is information that both of them need, but it's not going on, at least not yet, right? Um, so if they can, if unity, right, to bring them together enhances unity. Uh, through sharing of information, engender social awareness and empathy. There's that word again, right? So I'm going to go with that to say that the two of you, of course, are interwoven. It's a soulmate contract just written this way. Your souls, both of you, chose to come into this one to, I would say, um, communicate, communicate, communicate a little bit clearly. I think I need another cup of coffee. But with this six of swords in the soul, with her five of cups, uh, he, he, the, the soul is saying, honey, take the journey, divine masculine, communicate, get clear. Don't communicate when your nervous system is inflamed never goes well. It just never goes well. You say things you don't mean. And Eckhart Tolle says it best. You get possessed by your pain and it takes you over. And afterwards you go, why did I do that? Something came over me. It's like being possessed by a demon, by the shadow. Uh, maybe there's one of the seven deadly sins in there or something. Quick call Shazam. Right. Uh, but overall, I think that if you two, when you are ready, it doesn't feel like this is happening. And also remember if this is, if this is, two people that really do love each other because honestly she wants loyalty he wants to complete things right i said i'd put it all together she wants loyalty he wants completion and i feel like he wants completion from this hermit thing right if he's in another relationship and they can't be together or um he he's dealing with self-worth issues which i don't necessarily see here but doing his own inner healing if he is but look how many people are withdrawing from society out of fear right now <laughs> to get your vaccine yeah i didn't so, uh, i'm not leaving the house until i do well we'll have to leave the house to get it obviously uh but but then you know it doesn't make sense they've got twos this is where we really see a mirroring here she's got the balance and he's got the attraction so it feels like she's ready for him um you know what i mean like okay bring it 
bring it. You want to do this, but he, I feel like he's got to make the first move here. Um, what is she thinking? And what are they thinking? Victory and the Virgo card. I, I want to win that. I want him. Whatever obstacles we are presented with, I want to strategize with this. I want to work with him with this. I want to move forward with this where he's like, I want to work on it too, but I want to work on it solo. Hence that hermit card with the Virgo card. I need to work this stuff out. I can't take you on this journey right now. What he's saying, if, if that resonates, what they are feeling, the witch, she's feeling alignment and power. She's feeling the divine is at work here. She just wants to be a channel of the divine for the divine to manifest whatever the hell is going to happen here. More feeling it. That doesn't always make sense uh, mentally, but it does feel like the divine is backing her up. His feelings are the Knight of Cups, the Romantic Knight, the Piscean Knight, very much wanting to offer a cup of love, um, but coming in a bit faster. Interesting that he's thinking go slow, but he's feeling go a little bit faster. No, real quick. I used to ride horses when I was a kid. I never, I never really got into it that much. Um, the, the, the Knight of Pentacles is at a walk. He's not at a standstill. Walk is the slow. So you walk the horse. Uh, the Pisces would be the next uh, speed up, if you like, and that would be trot. Then you have canter, C-A-N-T-E-R, and then gallop, which would be Sagittarius and uh, and Gemini. So wants, he's, he's hot to trot. There we go. I mean, I said that phrase since the 70s. Uh, that knight of pentacles, though, really, really thinking, I got to plan this out. I got to take my time. I have to build this. He's building a strategy. I feel like there's another person involved here, though it's not on the table. Again, we'll see in the extended... Uh, but with the Five of Cups and the Six of Swords, the voice of the soul, she's like, wait until the storm's clear. May, or there must be some emotional turbulence that went on in this relationship, that there is emotional change going on, for, at least for her, and which would make sense. Why the witch, unless a change is uh, going to change? And a change will do you good. Thank you, Cheryl Crow. Six of Swords. I mean, I'm not going to come right out and say, you need therapy. But this is the Six of, Cu of, of Swords. Get your elements right, Mark. Uh, the Six of Swords is about mental balance and possibly even communication to say, I am, now I can see this as communication with that networker there, just saying, look, I have been through hell. I can see her saying to her, I have been through hell. I wanted to protect you from it. I didn't want you to have to see what I was going through. I didn't want you to see me this down, hence the hermit needing to pull back. Um, and really with the overall archetype of the networker here, we are looking at really a thing of communication, but a creative archetype. These two most likely had a very strong communicative thing, right? Texting every day, talking every day, even if they weren't living together or anything like that. And even if they did, these were two people who met on a creative mental level. Um, but watch out for social media. Why, you know, like why make sure that both of you are really coming from this light attribute. Remember, this is what the whole contract is teaching you both right now uh, to help you enhance unity through sharing of information. And if he ghosted her, he needs to tell her why. And with all the T's crossed and the I's dotted, right? Because the Libra is going to want that. They're going to want to balance out the air, the information here. Uh, engender social awareness through empathy. Well, I have a feeling if he told her what was going on, why he pulled back in, you know, in whole, not just bread crummy, but poof, the whole picture, the, the, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, uh, then I feel like she would understand. She has this loyalty, or at least she wants to give her loyalty to this divine masculine uh, and this contract. But nonetheless, we have to wait and see. Right, it feels like the divine feminine. You just keep doing you. You keep healing you, but watch the stories you tell yourself when you don't know the answers. Right, uh, my book Words of Grace is coming out in Kindle this month or next, and the the different graces. It's a long story. Read the book. Um, but my saving grace is the grace of humility, what I call the maiden grace. Oh, maiden goddess, grant me the grace of humility to know that I do not know when I do not know, but I'm willing to be shown the truth, right? Humility is the shield against humiliation and humiliation is uh, one of, is the first controlling fear. So if you can really stay in that place, right? And Herman, if you can really go in 
um, focus on your inner life, I get the pullback here, then you're going to get very, very clearly. Yes, the turbulent time is mostly behind you. Doesn't mean there isn't still a journey here, but communication is essential if you want each other in your lives. So that's what I see for you, my Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in this happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying soulmate contract. In fact, may the Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs be blessed with all that they need in this happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate, sexual, satisfying soulmate contract for January 2021 or timeless that they may help each other heal that they may love each other more than ever before, and that they may anchor into this world the love that heals all wounds, the love that conquers all for their well-being and for the well-being of all. So it would be. And so it is. Hey, if you like it, hit like. Uh, you want more, subscribe. Uh, comment as you see fit. I will be glad to, if you get a thumbs up and a heart at the same time, that's me. <laughs> um, Otherwise, wishing you all the very best and the very blessed in this soulmate contract. January 2021 or timeless. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.